Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Travel with Rick. I'm your host Rick Howard and I want to welcome you to our weekly video blog dedicated to the number one vacation destination in the world, my favorite place, the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Yep, we're here today. We're actually over on Tom Sawyer's Island. As you can see, there's the Haunted Mansion over here behind me. Right over there, that's Big Thunder Mountain. And just right over there, that's uh, Liberty Square. So, you know, we're just having a great time here today. We're kind of calling this series our Off the Beaten Path series, I guess. I guess that's a good good category to put it in because a lot of people don't even know that right across from Splash Mountain, you can get on one of the rafts and come right over to Tom Sawyer Island and you can spend a few minutes or you can spend a good part of your day right here on the island just kind of wandering around the caves. We just walked through this really dark, really spooky, scary cave. Um, so, you know, there's just a lot of things to do here. There's actually a little place that you can grab a sandwich called Aunt Polly's Landing, um, which is kind of neat. So it's just a great, um, great place to come and hang out and spend some time. Let your kids run wild through the fort. And, uh, you know, you see a lot of parents sitting around on the benches and kind of taking it easy and taking a break. So it's really, really good for that. So come on, let's take an adventure around Tom Sawyer's Island here at the Magic Kingdom. I'm going to show you around a little bit. Come on. just move across the water and are a lot of fun to walk across but be careful trying to do it in flip flops because they're really not that easy. Well, here we are at Fort Langhorne over on Tom Sawyer's Island. It's just a great little place for kids to go and play. There's a lot of neat stuff to do in there, a lot of things to explore around the fort. I mean, gosh, didn't we all want a fort when we were growing up? So Disney has one right here on Tom Sawyer's Island. Come on, let's go in and take a look.
Wow, I almost didn't find my way out of that one. This is one of the tunnels coming out from the fort. So all over Tom Sawyer Island, there's lots of little caves and things like this that you'll find everywhere around. So it's just a great way to spend uh, part of your day or a good part of your day here on Tom Sawyer's Island, kind of exploring things around. Just a great thing to do to pass some time, to take a break, and to get away from the parks for a little while. So um, enjoy your time on Tom Sawyer Island. All right, well I hope you guys enjoyed uh, exploring a little bit of Tom Sawyer Island with us. We just gave you a little sneak peek of what there is to do here. You could literally, like I said, spend a good part of your day here. So we just showed you around, showed you some of the highlights, we showed you the floor. Um, you got just great views of the uh, riverboat passing by at times. You've got great views of Haunted Mansion, great views of Big Thunder Mountain. We showed you a little bit of uh, the roller coaster coming by on Thunder Mountain, the mine train. That was really a cool thing. So I've really enjoyed spending my day here. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's the riverboat now. So, uh, question of the week. Well, this was uh, an off the beaten path thing to do. What's your off the beaten path thing to do? Uh, what do you like to do just to get away from the parks? Um, you know, whatever it might be. Golfing, shopping, Tom Sawyer Island. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. Just click on the comment. Let me hear from you. You guys know I love your comments. I love hearing from you guys. They're like oxygen to me. So write me, let me know what your off the beaten path thing is to do. And hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Travel with Rick. And we'll see you right back here on another episode real soon. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. So long.